Hi Aries. Tuesday. Queen of Swords. I love this energy, particularly after this disappointing Monday wasn't really happy, but this is decisive one. I like to see it after this sort of energy when you don't know where you are heading, what you are doing, what is going to follow, what now, okay, this you don't like and you're going to leave it behind, but what now, where you are heading, what's your new way, if this isn't the right way, what is the new way, and Queen of Swords is saying just that, this is your way, this is how you proceed, this is what you do, this is um, your career, your way of life or something, this is your new hairstyle, doesn't matter, you see what I'm saying, but still, Still, we are talking clarity, clear mind. We love this clear mind. This is all dark, unsettled, okay, unhappy. And this is clear mind. We are not talking happiness, but certainty. We are talking truth. We are talking understanding. And that's why we love it. Now you understand, with this energy of Eight of Cups, you do not understand, you don't know exactly where you are heading, what's next. And this one is telling you. Now it could be another person, being that energy is outer, comes from outer source, okay? Maybe Gemini, Libra, Aquarius person, um, maybe Virgo as well, okay? Queen of Swords often, often shows that analytical, smart Virgo, you know? Detailed oriented, because this is detailed oriented, Energy um, knows all the facts, dealing with all equations, all numbers, to make the right decision, to have truth, to have clarity. And that's what you have. Now, through another person, or you, you perhaps adopted this energy, it's your energy today, because you have clear vision about your new way, about your new path, about where you are heading. You have new knowledge, maybe just concrete knowledge. You've got your clear mind. Now, this or that way. So, <clears throat> Tuesday, Pedro, <laughs> with, uh, with the Empress, feels good, eh? Oh, it feels good. The Empress says, now you're going to feel good because you know where you are heading. Felt very poor on Monday. <laughs> feels really good on Tuesday because you know your way. Now feels good. The Empress is feeling good energy. You know exactly what is around you and you're loving it. You've got people around you and you love them. And they love you too. Motherly feeling. You've got your home. You love your home. You've got your new way of doing business, doing career, living your life. You know what's your new life, new way, new path. Plans for the future often the Empress represents, that long-term future, okay? Now you know what is going to happen by the end of the year and from next year on. Perhaps plans like that, but you know exactly. And it's all very truthful. This is all sure and truthful. What you're going to do, what is going to happen within the next, I don't know, year time or even longer, long-term future, which you were very happy with, this vision about your future, these expectations, something which you know is supposed to happen because you know your way. You know how things will develop now. At least you've got your overall picture about where you are heading, okay? And that makes you very, very satisfied. This clarity, this understanding or knowledge which you have on this day. Perhaps important is that this is long-term decision, long-term clarity, long-term truth, okay? Which you are having in your mind now that you are seeing your life in another summer months, okay, in front, okay, you know where you are heading and that pleases you no end. This is very satisfied energy. The Empress is very comfortable, okay, with that. What you know, where you are heading, what is happening right now with your clarity, very, very satisfied with that. You are not anymore unsettled as you were on Monday. You are very happy now with yourself, now you have clarity, no dark time, clarity from this point on. You do understand where you are heading, what you will be doing, what is your right way. You know it all, okay? And that makes you quite satisfied, makes you very comfortable actually with yourself now that you know. Very lovely Tuesday, Aries. Hi, Taurus. Not Tuesday. 
with the sun. Now this is fun, this is joy, this is children, excitement, new beautiful projects for your future. Everything which is a joy, happiness as well, good health, prospect for the new relationship, beautiful prospect for this career. The sun's energy talks about a lovely prospect, okay, something which begins, doesn't stand on its two feet yet, okay, still wobbly, still at the very beginning, okay, you don't see in depth what is going to happen further, but the bright and shiny so far, beautiful so far, happy so far, in that sense, we love this energy, particularly after this five souls, something that spoils your fun, and this is fun. <laughs> the sun with the sun a hey, sweet i mean it seems whatever that spoiled your fun whatever that was you know problem it, you did have some sort of problem um, here on monday idea was great opportunity fantastic maybe it was opportunity for job for some project and it was many of you applying for it uh, and and you got it on this day, on Monday, when you got it, when you got information, there were people around, disappointed, unhappy, sad, crying or so. So you couldn't celebrate. But here on Tuesday, oh, there you were. Long-term future begins now. Okay, with the sun's energy, baby is born. Doesn't stand on its two feet, but will grow with time. We can look at it symbolically and bring it into whatever situation in our life, in career, in business, private life, life in general. Something is beginning now. Its prosperous is beautiful. It is for your long-term future and it seems so beautiful, so happy, so healthy, so lovely today. This is just like that. Everything so happy, so lovely, so promising. Beautiful sounds, energy, very joyful. I really hope that you're going to enjoy it, Taurus, this Tuesday. Hi, Gemini. Now Tuesday, with Nine of Wands, yeah, it seems that still something to perfect, still something to complete, to finish. Perhaps you thought that you have finished that all, okay? But now you are thinking maybe still something to do, maybe still something to learn, maybe still something to perfect, to redo. Um, often with Nine of Wands, something still a little bit, okay, before you call it done, completed and ready to whatever, invest or use or so. But Nine of Wands is still needing some work. Not happy energy. You are doing your work. You are doing that what you're supposed to do because you have to do. It's it's incomplete. It's not finished. Um, or you have to prove yourself. Often this is defensive energy. You have to prove yourself. You have to prove your knowledge. There is the this last exam, last test to do. You see what I'm saying? Could also mean something like that. Nine of Wands. But doing the last thing. And you were, <laughs> again, very optimistic. I think it's very connected this Monday, Tuesday. You do have something done almost to the end, okay, seven of pentacles perhaps on Monday you considered that done, okay, but on Tuesday you perhaps realized that you could perfect it, you can redo it a little bit, you can add to it, to call it done, to call it finished, okay, with nine of wands, something else was needed, um, definitely, but, you know, it was nothing which you couldn't do, because something else, look at, we have store, we have the fool, we have endless optimism about huge changes, huge massive results which you're supposed to get when you complete when you complete what you're supposed to complete when you complete your education when you complete this project when you complete I don't know something something has to be completed perfected to dot your I's cross your T's okay and then okay huge massive expectations out of it then you can perhaps work with that to get huge massive profit to get huge massive results to apply for work which will be well paid you see what I'm saying huge difference this supposed to make in your life this what you have done this what you have prepared yourself for this is your preparation this is your useful thing you're supposed to grow in Enormously, you're supposed to make huge, massive difference, okay, with this, what you are, what you are doing now, Monday and Tuesday. 
Right, this is something very tangible and you can use it to change your life. And it's ready by Tuesday, if not done by Tuesday, surely will be done very soon. This energy never gives up. Nine of Wands never gives up. It's not happy to do that, but does it because now is the time you have to and you will not give up. You see what I'm saying? Very diligent, determined energy will do because that's how it's supposed to be. In that sense, these two days are very connected. But what I like with both of them is this optimism, huge, massive hopes about what from here, what you're going to get out of this work, out of this completion, out of this, I don't know, savings, jobs, um, education, what is going to follow, what difference is going to make in your life, huge, massive difference you are expecting now. Shining store in front of you, end goal achievable. Beautiful. Your hopes, your dreams are sitting on this work on Monday and Tuesday. Lots of hopes, lots of dreams, huge change in your life supposed to happen thanks to this hard work. Yeah, that's Monday and Tuesday. Hi, Cancer. No Tuesday. With the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, that's the best. <laughs> <laughs> Ten of Pentacles is the best one. Look, um, talks about big amount of money, um, some once of payment usually, okay, that came from somewhere. You expected some amount of money to be deposited on to be deposited on your account for whatever reason, and there you were on Tuesday. Yeah, you've got it on your account. If you've been working on some project on something and you have expected some results, these are the best possible results which you could get the best possible results the biggest possible achievement perfect completion of the situation we can also say just like that but ten of pentacles is a successful energy often talks about family family business family property something really valuable okay and being that ten always means completion and the new beginning but now on the higher level ten of pentacles secures some solid medium for your growth. Now, this amount of money can allow you now to invest. This property can allow you now to, I don't know, do something with it, to earn something or so. You see what I'm saying? Valuable energy which you can use. Beautiful Ten of Pentacles. With the Seven of Swords, again, you are not happy. Again, um, Cancer, you were kind of... Yeah, you were kind of unhappy. We were talking about the maximum here with the Ten of Pentacles, and it is visible. This is maximum results, but you're not happy. You still have expected something else. You still expected more. You feel that you're losing on another side, something you gain, but somewhere you lost. With the very same thing, this gain, this success, this amount of money definitely cost you personally. You lost your friend. You kind of lost... I don't know what you lost, but you lost something. You are definitely not completely happy. It's partial success. And that's what you have, that huge amount of money, that completion, perfect completion, that something, that property, that business. Still not that what you have expected. Somewhere in your life you lost because of this huge gain. You lost your friend. The person is angry with you. Expected some part of this. This reward, this success, this amount of money. Maybe somebody else expected a little bit for themselves. Maybe wanted to share. But it all went to you. And that's why this energy, unhappy energy, because somebody else is unhappy, okay, and you are feeling it. Definitely you are feeling somebody else's unhappiness or you feel that you, in order to gain this, okay, to get this valuable thing for yourself, you had to sacrifice something else. But you are not completely happy with that, even though results are enormous, couldn't be better than this, but you personally you are not happy, not completely. For you, this is partial success. Some way you lost. You lost maybe your reputation, maybe reputation, because it was big amount of money, you put lots of effort to gain, to get it for yourself. And maybe 
Maybe people are seeing you now as selfish. They don't like you anymore. I don't know. I'm just guessing, bringing it up for you to understand the energy. But you were not completely happy with yourself here because other people are not happy. Maybe other people disappointed, not because it's your fault, but you were chosen by the big boss to get it all, okay? And people, colleagues of yours are disappointed, of course, but you do feel that things are not right, not completely right. Even though that what is tangible, that what is valuable out there can't be better, can't be better than that. But there is something tricky in the whole situation and you were feeling it, surely you're feeling it on this day. So that's your Tuesday, Cancer. Hi, Leo. So Tuesday now, Leo. Eight of Wands, a not different story. This is kind of intense creative energy which you are having right now. Maybe some conversation, maybe some movement, some movement, fast moving energy, okay, Eight of Wands, something which is supposed to create, something which is supposed to give results very intense now this is completely different this was passive not knowing dark uncertain and this one is oh this is fast moving this one knows what is doing you see what i'm saying with this energy you know exactly what you're doing um it, eight wands are, are flying in one row you see what i'm saying just now they're supposed to land they're supposed to begin to grow they're supposed to they're supposed to give some results you see what i'm saying might be conversation, very intense conversation, sending emails, constructing something, preparing for something, preparing yourself to travel. Let me bear it. With Ace of Swords, oh, you do have idea, you do have clarity. As much as you were uncertain, unsure, okay, about how you're going to invest, what you're going to do with yourself or with... That what you have, with whatever useful thing that you have, you were not sure what to do with that. And Ace of Swords is completely opposite. <laughs> now that's clarity, now that's decision, that's truth. And now I know. And immediately, as soon as you got this idea, as, as soon as it came to your mind that you can do it this way, that you, that you can get the best possible results that, that way, and you will be most popular if you do this. You see what I'm saying? You know exactly, exactly. Ace of Swords knows it, knows it exactly, precisely what you're supposed to do, what is going to give you results and you are not procrastinating. This is fastest moving creative energy. This one makes things done. Okay, you were flying, you are in the aeroplane and just now you will be in another country. Just now you will start this business because you are preparing all documentations, you're speaking with people, you are bringing applications. You see what I'm saying? That's your eight of wands. All the applications, documentations, um, conversations, emails, what is supposed to be done. This is the least and you are going from one to 21 and everything will be done today because idea is great and there's no reason for you to stop, to rest, to relax because it is important for you to be done immediately something very truthful very important this is opening up some sort of new road for you you haven't been through this road now it's clear now it's known so you might as well rush it up look on this day here on Tuesday perhaps Leo you're gonna spend the day rushing around traveling in the car, in the train, in the bus, speaking with people, sending emails, preparing documentations, standing in the queue to get some license or something. You see what I'm saying? All of it, perhaps, or some of it, but intense day, very intense day, and might actually take the whole day. So you, you cannot even rest the whole day until late in the evening when you have done it all. You see what I'm saying? Exhausting energy, demanding energy, very intense. But why this energy has its place? Because it's exciting, <laughs> because something which is supposed to follow, which is supposed to grow out of this, is so important. So, doesn't matter work, doesn't matter exhaustion, doesn't matter anything on this day. It matters what you're going to get with this, what you do on this day. This is your preparation for some sort of creations, for some sort of opportunity, for some sort of, I don't know, new way, new path, a new road, which is supposed to open for you. 
a new career of some sort right. on another place or so. But anyway, um, you understand it's intense energy. I'm sure you felt it, I did. Very intense, perhaps exhausting energy, but rewarding, surely very rewarding. This Eight of Wands with Ace of Swords, a lovely day. Very intense, demanding, hardworking, but with good reason. There is good reason with Ace of Swords. That's reason, that's truth, that's decision. Anyway, your Tuesday. Hi Virgo. Now, Tuesday. With Page of Cups. Now this is something else. This is maybe your child, if you have your children. Teenager, emotional, vulnerable, you know, teenagers. They want and they don't want. They feel and they don't feel. They are happy and they're angry. And in that sense, this energy is a bit emotionally volatile. Look, it could be news. It could be that you were receiving some sort of news. But this is good news. Makes you feel good. Makes you feel optimistic. Maybe something romantic also. It's, it's a news, perhaps some sort of offer, some sort of possibility for investment. Two sevens we are having. This is your investment. This is your further success from here. This is something useful which you are having. Now, further success, as I said, is guaranteed. And perhaps this uh, page of cups is just about that. Expecting miracles, expecting I who knows what, because your success is guaranteed. Nothing stands on your way. You've done everything everything which you're supposed to do. You've got support halfway through and now it's just a walk in the park for you. You know, you will have your success. You'll have your win. You'll have your position at work. You'll have something. And you were expecting kind of miracle out of it. Huge, huge success. Now look, this is very young energy. Perhaps you are doing something for the first time and that success is not something you've been through, you've seen like earlier. So that's why you've got this you know, open mind, this enthusiasm, this optimism, endless, endless, okay, you cannot stop thinking what is now possible, how much money it's going to be, what success it's going to be, I mean, you cannot put borders around it, because you never been there, you never went through, so this win, this success, this goal, which you are after, obviously is achievable, and I kind of feel on this day, it's about the same thing here on Tuesday, same as Monday, it's just your happiness, and optimism about future, about future success, about goal achieved, about profit made. You see what I'm saying? That what you see, that prospect for it, in fact, makes you very, very happy. And perhaps on this day you are seeing far bigger results, endless results or so. Because Paige is out there, you cannot really uh, contain that optimism. <laughs> There's not much reality with this energy. But the reality is with sevens, you surely have something that you count on, that you work with. Okay, so um, a beautiful future perhaps really stands in front of you. Big goal is achievable. Big success is attainable. So why not? Being optimistic, being happy. Yeah, perhaps just like that today on Tuesday. Hi Libra. A Tuesday with the Nine of Cups. Look, that's your wish card. This is you feeling happy, feeling satisfied, okay, with yourself, um, with that what you have, with that what you ate, with uh, that what you look alike, with, with something material. Satisfaction, definitely, you feel very satisfied. You've got things around you. You've got luxurious things. You bought something expensive. You see what I'm saying? Show off energy as well. Seven of Swords. Look, um, the devil now, seven of swords, both of them are talking about something manipulative, okay? Maybe you uh, feel that you were overweight and you will go for liposuction. You're not going to tell anybody you will go to liposuction. You're going to make yourself skinnier because this energy often is a bit too plump, okay? Maybe you're going to go to gym. Those seven of swords would say you are not going to gym anymore because it doesn't help. Now you're going to go for operation. Now you're going to go for liposuction. Now you're going to go to plastic surgeon. You see what I'm saying? 
more on that side because this is tricky energy you're tricking this situation you're not gonna go hard away okay to go and exercise forever to go on a diet and exercise forever you're gonna go and find shortcut and do it in one go your way done and finished in that sense you are manipulating something which in general gives you pleasure food drinks um, maybe you are changing the way you uh, um, dress yourself you will get out of that ordinary that average that what you used to that was what was acceptable in your surrounding in that office it was necessarily to wear that uniform. Now you don't want to do it. Maybe you are trying to find a way to wear something which looks like the uniform, but is more suitable for you, more stylish, more comfortable or so. You are changing something which in general gives you pleasure. But um, with the Nine of Cups, we are talking something material. And when that material is in excess, it's always a negative. Lovely wine is healthy, but too much of it is not so healthy. Carrot juice is so healthy, but take it in, in enormous amount, it's not going to be so healthy. So we are talking here about something which you take, which you have taken in excess. Nine of cups often is excess of something, something which otherwise gives you pleasure, okay? Now you have to work it out, but you don't want to go long process. You don't want to go all the way because it will take time or it will take too much effort. You want to go your way, shortcut, something different, something which will be easier for you. This is easier way, okay? You are choosing easier way or something which is not going to last that long or it's not going to be so demanding. You see what I'm saying? You want some easier way, but you have to deal with this excess of something. This is your Tuesday. Hi, Scorpio. Now, Tuesday... with the star going towards <laughs> happier times you've got your goal you do have your goal okay big achievement big success something which will fulfill your ego okay something which will make you popular the star you want to be popular you want your talents to be seen you want your abilities to be seen you want to be rich and it seems to me on this day perhaps you are seeing possibilities it's major arcana i have to pair it there is queen of pentacles i mean it seems that you know how to queen of pentacles energy within you there is something solid which you have. There is some amount of money. There is some saving. There is business. Okay, maybe you do have business which wasn't doing well. And now you want to reconstruct it or you're going to leave it behind. You're going to open another one. You're going to go and find another client. You see what I'm saying? You're going to do some reconstructions perhaps related to your business. And you're going to show yourself different. Now you're going to be more solid. Now you're going to be more grounded. Now you know what you are after. After. You see what I'm saying? Could be just something like that. Now I know what I am after. I am after this business, after this career, after this amount of money. You see what I'm saying? You know what you are after here on Tuesday. As I said on Monday, you perhaps couldn't say exactly, but here, yes, on Tuesday, you know exactly what you are after. And perhaps... I don't know, with Queen of Pentacles, it's always something about the business, okay? Even if it's your home, even if it's, I don't know, your family, it's always business there. You're going to work from home or something. You see what I'm saying? That there is a business. This is business mind. Does have something solid, something rooted already, immovable already. And that thing can enable you, this business this amount of money this something solid which you have something tangible will enable you to build your career to build your success to be popular you see what i'm saying we are talking some qualities i think it's your personal qualities your talents your knowledge something you feel you can achieve a lot with 
maybe some type of business which you are doing which is not showing results desired results yet but now on Tuesday you know exactly how you're gonna get just that desired results you see what I'm saying that Tuesday but in whichever way you know how you're gonna get it you've got your end goal and you know how you're gonna get it simple as that business mind thinking business thinking straightforward going for gain this is about gaining something earning something making your business thrive making you successful business person you see possibilities you you see chance for it now Monday and Tuesday Hi Sagittarius, Tuesday with the Wheel of Fortune. Now that's change. Fortunate, I suppose, I'm going to pair it now, it's a major arcana. You see, with the King of Wands, oh, King of Wands, after Eight of Wands, you have decided you are going for it. That what you want to create, you work that out, you will create. That's your decision today. You will go for it. Absolutely, you are going for it. Nothing will stop you. That's your realization. You can do it by yourself. You are excited about it. You feel confident. King of Wands is exceptional creator, is exceptionally confident, accountable, knows it all, knows it how to, will create it, and on their own very much relying on yourself perhaps this is something just for you and you were relying on yourself and on this day instead of being doubtful fearful uncomfortable not sure now you are certain now you are confident that change actually we have here we are seeing here a change in your approach you're not fearing you work that out you look that up whatever that you need to to think, to analyze, to search, you did and you came to the conclusion, it's easy for you. You can make it, nothing can stop you. That kind of a beautiful change of, not a change of mood, but a change of approach towards this. Okay, otherwise very prosperous thing from this fearful, uncertain, uncomfortable uh, position into very confident, oh, I know myself, I can do it. Beautiful, lovely Tuesday, very confident decision is there, change of approach, okay, towards this idea. Your realization, yeah, I can do it. So that's your Tuesday. Hi Capricorn. Two of Wands, no much better, exciting energy. Two of Wands is excitement about your future, something which you could possibly, you could possibly travel, relocate, you could possibly make some big amount of money, you could possibly start your new career. Decision pending, not there yet, but vision is huge, okay, in front of you. Big difference this is supposed to make, massive difference is supposed to make in your life something much better much bigger more successful um, than that what you have right now yeah and you don't have decision and you still don't have decision I mean you are still awaiting you don't have a visibility you don't have a certainty decision pending maybe you are waiting for another one with the two of wands we can talk to people preparing themselves to relocate to move in together, to start a business together. You see what I'm saying? We can talk partnership as well. We can talk just you being indecisive or waiting for some institution, some, I don't know, some government institution, some home affairs, some situation out there to help you make a decision or to make decision for you. But the decision isn't there and you don't know when. Still, you don't know when, no visibility for you. You feel stuck now. Huge, different life is in front of you. That relocation, that maybe travel, that new business or something is in front of you is possible, but you're still waiting for decision, for some people, for some promise, for something, whatever that is. You see what I'm saying? The no visibility, when? You are still maybe paying for something, you are still sacrificing something of yourself, some of your time, some work, something. 
But there's no movement for you and, and not even visibility, not possibility right now for you to move on. Not yet. Not on Tuesday, not Monday and Tuesday you are clueless when you're going to have this decision, when you're going to have a visibility, when things will begin to happen, when you're going to get this visa. Maybe you're waiting for some sort of visa, some sort of work permit or, or I don't know in that sense. Waiting and not knowing when. So that's Tuesday. Still waiting. Hi Aquarius. Now, Tuesday, Aquarius, with the hung man waiting for something, for some enlightenment, for some knowledge, for some experience. Maybe other people are supposed to do something. Maybe you are waiting for this diploma or you're finishing your course, just that what you wanted, you're almost there, you will then apply for a job which you really like. But first, you have to pay some fee and they will issue I don't know, that paper to you. You see what I'm saying? Maybe you were waiting for just for that administrative, um, I don't know, things to be done. <laughs> um, often sacrificing something, often, often paying for something. But the waiting, definitely, you know what you are waiting for. It's an uncomfortable situation. You are happy with something which you can begin to do, which can begin to earn you money. But not right now, not just yet. Wait another couple of days or so. You see what I'm saying? It's uncomfortable, but understandable. That's your oh, hunged man. Yeah, it's understandable. King of Cups. His energy usually represents water sign, but not, I think, this time is you. Representing you being satisfied with yourself, you surely have something which makes you pleased with, okay? With how you conducted yourself, how you learned, how you dealt with your needs, your needs for education. You did put perhaps some sort of perspective in front of yourself and you worked towards it, okay? Now these days are showing that you were almost there, you've got it what you wanted, that what you wished for, that what you worked for. You've got it and King of Cups is very happy because of that. This is being happy with yourself. Nine of Cups, being happy with yourself. Very satisfied with what you have, who you were, what you have done, what you gained. In that sense, the King of Cups is just as well. It's only the King of Cups shows more maturity, more intellect. Um, King of Cups is seeing the whole uh, um, wide situation around. Doesn't matter if you have to wait or you still have to pay for something or you still have to do something. You do understand whatever that is requirement right now from you, from another or so. You do understand what is all about and it doesn't bother you. This is very understanding, very emotionally stable energy sitting in the midst of the turbulent waters, which says whatever that you have around you doesn't matter good, bad, comfortable, uncomfortable, pleasant, unpleasant, it doesn't matter. You can deal with that. You are well equipped. You know what is all about. Okay, very intelligent energy, by the way. King of Cups, you do understand what it's all about. You mostly feel yourself satisfied and you do understand your surrounding circumstances around you. So you will wait, still being satisfied, happy with yourself because you know what you're waiting for. Perhaps perhaps you know exactly when you know things gonna turn around, when you're gonna be able to stand up and move on, you see what I'm saying, with your life, career, business or so. But yeah, um, even if you don't, you are patiently waiting because you succeeded with something. You brought yourself to this very satisfying place. That is all about. Now, if it's few more days to wait, even a few more months to wait, it doesn't matter anymore. In that sense, this Tuesday, very lovely, in fact. Hi, Pisces. Not Tuesday. with Three of Pentacles. Look, Three of Pentacles, it's practical energy, doing something practically, something exciting, like your hobby, like, I don't know, some um, fixing something around your house and you like it, mostly decorative stuff. You are busy, like painting, like you want to 
change some carpets, you're gonna um, sew some, you are sewing some curtains or so, being busy with something which you are enjoying. Okay, that's why we talk about your hobby. Maybe some new group of people you are meeting now. People are admiring you for your qualities, for your knowledge. Um, people are affiliating themselves with you for that what you do, for that what you know, for that what you have started. Okay, you were perhaps showing yourself out there with something admirable. You do some job, you show some skills and people are admiring you and connect to you through that job, skill or so. Three of Pentacles, it's a practical thing, something which you do and it's visible and people are admiring it. They are affiliating themselves with you because of that. So might be that as well. Beginning of some new business, yeah. Okay, <laughs> doubling itself here, beginning some new business, beginning some new career, um, beginning to earn money in a different way, but this is all exciting. You really love that what you do on this day, this very beginning is important because promises big success. It can grow, it can develop, you can make big deal out of it. It can stay your hobby, okay, you can just enjoy doing it part time, having fun with your friends and so and so, because it is fun and enjoyable, practical thing, using your hands, using your brain or whatever, and enjoying the little things, doing it here and there with your friends, but could be something which you can okay develop further you can develop it endlessly you can make a big corporation out of this you see what i'm saying it's not something which is limited with the time or any other way there's no limitation with this one can grow endlessly if you continue to put effort if you continue to do that what you do you can make big success out of this that what is very interesting with this energy very small very young very beginning nothing to show up for now i mean even if you do have something it's very little okay very little money that you received very little done it's just a beginning it's just a foundation even maybe just a cornerstone of something Important here is that joy which this give you and admiration which you get for that job, okay, for that what you do, for that what you have started here, what you are showing off with today, small, minimal, at the beginning, but it's important, it's admirable and it can grow endlessly. You can develop this as much as you like. So in that sense, very prosperous energy, but enjoyable. Joy with doing things with other people or by yourself, but it's enjoyable thing, yet very, very promising. You choose that. 